Good evening. I'm Marina Vitaj, Digital Editorial Manager at Wine Enthusiast Magazine. Tonight, I'm delighted to introduce and celebrate a pioneer of the contemporary cocktail movement, mixologist extraordinaire, Julie Reiner. She's the mastermind behind acclaimed cocktail bars like Flatiron Lounge and Clover Club. For more than a decade, Julie has been elevating the cocktail culture with her creativity and enthusiasm. Today, she continues to build excellence in the cocktail world, and she mentors others to do the same. For me, it's interaction, you know, it's, it's, the, it's the bartender to the customer trying to just make their day better. Julie's my best friend. She's just so full of life. She's probably one of the busiest people in the cocktail world, personally, professionally. Julie Reiner is one of the founders of the modern cocktail industry. She's also one of the smartest businesswomen in the industry. She's one of the women on the vanguard of the new cocktail movement. She's been a great mentor to me. She's the owner of Clover Club. Julie Reiner owns many places. Clover Club is my favorite of hers. And you get that consistency that I can walk in any time and I know I will not be disappointed. I moved to San Francisco after college and was doing marketing. I was so bored sitting behind a desk. So I was like, I left that and I started bartending and cocktail waitressing again. I had been working in the bar business in San Francisco. I, I had an opportunity to come to New York and I was like, hey, why not? All I'm doing right now is bartending, <laughs> you know? I can do that in New York. So I was working at C3 Lounge in the West Village, uh, which is connected to the Washington Square Hotel. I had a friend who was managing and I ended up getting hired as the bar manager there. And that was the spot that I started doing my own seasonal menus and kind of just took over the space. Rick Marin was writing an article about the apple martini. I was doing um, a house-infused apple martini that was uh, a vodka that I infused with Granny Smith green apples and then it had a little bit of uh, apple brandy cider in it. So it really tasted like you were biting into an apple with a kick. After that, it was like a few big publications that had writ written about and photographed some of my drinks. Suddenly it was Julie Reiner cocktail expert, you know, and I was like, oh shit, I'm not an expert. So I started reading everything I possibly could, which brought in Dale DeGroff, Audrey Saunders, just people that ended up being huge people in the cocktail world. I respect her very much, the way she works and the way she thinks. She's my girl. For me, it was about having somebody come into my bar and leave happier than they came, you know? Come in, have a really great conversation, an amazing cocktail and just leave feeling good. Um, and I, I just love that part of what we do. I am, delight I am delighted to present the Wine Star Award for Mixologist of the Year to Julie Reiner. enthusiast for such a prestigious award. It's such an honor uh, to be a part of such a wonderful event and be invited to uh, the wine world <laughs> for even just one night. Um, thanks to Doug Tarola who made this amazing video and made me look so great. <laughs> um, he used a lot of footage from his documentary film, Hey Bartender, uh, that I was in. And uh, my mom, who I think is my biggest fan, cried for like an hour after seeing this video. So thanks, Doug. <laughs> when I got the call from Adam Strum and Kara Newman that I had been nominated, I was really thrilled to be in the company of some of the best bartenders and brand ambassadors in the world, and to follow in the footsteps of my dear friend Charlotte Voicy, Jacob Breyers, and Angus Winchester is just overwhelming. They are all such great talents, and I'm just, I'm just humbled to be a part of their, their club. <laughs> Um, while my name is on this trophy, there are quite a few people who are responsible for me being here today. First, I want to thank my partner and wife, Susan Fedroff, who has opened Flatiron Lounge, Pegu Club, and Clover Club with me. Um, without her talents, none of these bars would exist. I get to do all this fun stuff and do the dog and pony show, but she does all the stuff that really makes, makes the places go, so thank you. Um, yes. 
I also want to thank uh, Christine Williams, our fearless partner and um, a general manager at Clover Club who handles a lot of the not so pretty sides of the bar business and a lot of it isn't so pretty. <laughs> so uh, she, she is uh, in charge of the day to day. Um, you're both amazing and I really am in awe of your talents every day. Um, to my talented bar staff at, at all of the bars, uh, particularly Tom Macy and KJ Williams, who were here tonight serving you gin blossoms. I hope some of you had one. Um, thank you for upholding the level of quality that we strive for and for inspiring me to be better and to keep pushing the boundaries of what we can put into a glass. I'm so grateful to have had some of the most celebrated bartenders pass through our doors at Flatiron Lounge and Clover Club. And the craft has really grown tremendously over the past 15 years, and I feel so lucky to have had a front row seat in, in it all. And lastly, I want to thank my family of cocktail geeks who discovered me in that little bar in the West Village and showed me that there were other people out there who cared about cocktails and bartending. Dale DeGroff, Tony Abuganam, David Wondrich, Audrey Saunders. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. It's such a pleasure to be here. Thank you to the Wine Enthusiast team. Cheers.